Jen here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I found my Korok here. In the last part, we just did a random side quest. We actually completed uh, the Luka Kuna sewer with that kid, finally. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, and we just spent the rest of the episode trying to do, at least start some Korok hunting in the Guru region. But don't worry, we will do some side quests along the way, because this area has a lot of activity to do. But there is actually a shrine nearby that we can probably get us around this area, so that'll probably be a start. But now I need to do some climbing, so I may need to have my climbing gear on. Uh, let's bring those up. Uh, where is my climbing gear? I mean, there's so many clothing. Uh, not that. Where is my clothing? Climbing gear. Right here. Alright, there we go. Do some climbing. Actually, funny enough, the Rob Your Hood can actually increase um, your climbing speed, apparently, sideways. But, I don't know. Alright. Let's do some climbing, even though it's still considerably slow, but it's better than nothing. Alrighty. Alright, Link. Just recover some stamina. Trying to cons conserve it as much as possible. But with this kind of steep hillness crap, it's kind of hard to do so. Alright, we can recover here, so thank goodness. Because for all this gear right now, it is not working. But hey, at least we got... Uh, three of the champion's power, we just need one more, then we could pretty much go to higher castle if we want to, but I'm not going to do that. Because there's still a lot of this game to do. Like, there's a lot of content. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it is starting to get a little bit chilly up here, so... Yeah, we're actually heading to, like, a very chilly area, so we might have to... Um, yeah, just, actually, we'll just head up here. I will get that other one later. But it is starting to get a little chilly up here, so we may have to actually equip something warm for now. Alright. Alright. Yep. I'm getting hit with the cold. Alrighty. Um, let's just replace that for now. I kind of want to use as many climbing gears as I can. So, yeah. Alrighty. Link, I hope you can make it up here. Okay, you can take a break here. Alright, there we go. And we can make it. But, you know, this is just a start. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, funny enough, you can probably use the snow boots, actually, since there is uh, snow up here. So, you know, I might as well. Alrighty. Um, I don't need... Okay, you go away. I can't really grab your thing, because, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, let's just climb up and ignore the wolves. But, yeah, if you feel uh, just actually faster in the snow since we have snow boots on, so we don't have to worry about being too slow. Alright, I believe you're an ice lizapho, so I think I shall get rid of you. Alrighty. Um, alrighty. Yeah, this is just the beginning of some snowy stuff, so who boy. But at least we're running fast, so I'm not too worried about this area. Well, this is not the Gerudo region. This is the Wasteland region, so yeah. Alright, you got some restrooms. They're actually pretty good for stamina refilling stuff, which I don't need them anymore. So, yay. Alright. Let's get some Koros, and also there's actually a shrine here, because I remember that. Alright. Alright, keep climbing, and there should be a Korok right up here. Also, we got a bunch of snowballs. Also, we hear shrine music, so you can probably tell that we're actually near a shrine. Yeah, ha, ha. Alright, drop that on your head, not on me, though. Alrighty. Um, I might as well tackle the shrine here, since we're, we are here. Um, leave that wolf alone. Alrighty. Um, I see another Lizalvis over there, which we want to get rid of. Hello, buddy. And you're melted. And you guys up here out of nowhere. I don't want to mess with you. But hey, there is actually a notebook here. Read the Mountain Peak Log? Sure! This is a log of my finding concerning the shrine that sleeps on a snowy Gerudo Peak. I've come to the snowy mountain intending to find the ancient shrine that was written about in an old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal on a snowy Gerudo Peak. I believe I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. Discovery Law Day 7. It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient text. 
Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provision more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an explanation in the source text that may be the key to the riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I know the thing glowed to the pedestal for a short while each day, but how to cast a cold shadow onto its core? It seems that this calls for further research there, or here. I lost count. I can feel that I'm here's breath away from unlocking the secrets hidden within the pedestal. I'm certain that casting and cold refer to using a specific type of shadow. I ran out of food entirely, and I doubt that I ever had the tool to do the job, whatever they might be. And that was the last page. So apparently that guy died of, well, the cold! Anyways, we got the secret of the snowy peak, so we got that. Also, give me your tools. So, casting a shadow, we need to obviously cast a shadow, but the, here's the thing. There are a bunch of snowballs around here, right? You can essentially make yourself a snowball and, you know, use them to cast a shadow along the core of the, of the, shoot, what is it, the shrine. But here's the thing, that is actually very difficult. But luckily enough, there is a pond here, like a small uh, puddle. You can essentially use Cryonis for this, actually, funny enough, if you can rise up. But yeah, you just kind of get as close as possible. And what's cool is that this Cryonis block will act like a, like a snowball, so pretty much the pillar will actually hit um, this thing right here, because you got to have at least some sort of shadow hitting um, the shrine pedestal. But it's going to take a while to, you know, have, you know, whatever, the shadow casting upon here. So I'm going to skip some time, get, I'll let you guys save the troubles of waiting. So I'll, you know, wait until the shadow cast upon the shrine puzzle. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, so the shadow is almost going to hit the pedestal. It is 3.30 in the game right now. I believe around 4, you know, it'll start to glow. So we're almost there, just barely going to hit this pedestal so yeah so you had to wait here for a bit until the sun you know shadow or the shadow hits the pedestal it should glow at any point and when it does the shadow you know will touch the pedestal and reveal to us the shrine hopefully alrighty it's for right now it's glowing and the shadow should do it hopefully it better Come on. You can do it. Oh, shoot. It's cloudy. Oh, crap. Um, uh, don't, don't, oh my god. Don't be. Hopefully it counts. Hopefully it counts. It's cloudy, but come on, come on. Why is it not working? Are you serious? Is it not gonna work? The shadow's right there. No. No. Is it not gonna work because it's cloudy? Because if that's the case, that would suck. No! Come on! Oh, shoot! Get away! Are you serious? It's not gonna work? No, come on! Is it because this was cloudy? Are you serious? It's not gonna work because of that? Really? Oh, thank goodness! Oh, man, that scared me! Okay, that scared me. I thought because it was cloudy. Like, come on, there's still a shadow there. Okay, so it was, it was the wrong time. I thought it was 4 p.m., but it was like 5 p.m. Oh, that scared me. Man. <laughs> that literally scared me. Alright, finally. Finally, we got the shrine. Game, don't scare me like that. Alright, so anyway, we reveal the secret of the snowy peaks. So yeah, you can essentially cheat that one. You don't have to use a snowball. You can pretty much just use a crown as block and it will do its job. Anyway, we got the Suma Sama Shrine. Alright, so let's see what we got in the shrine. Probably a trial and not a blessing. Oh no, it's a blessing. I was expecting a trial because that really wasn't that hard. It was just a little bit of waiting, but alright, I'll take it. Quick and easy shrine. Oh, we got the Moonlight Scimitar yet again. I need to pick that up because it would count as getting a weapon. And, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I might as well just get rid of this. Well, I don't know. How much does the Scimitar do? 25? Uh, eh. Nah, I'm not going to grab it. I'm just going to keep the Roy Halberd. 
but it still counts as getting the treasure, so I'm okay with that. But anyways, let's continue on with the hunt for Koroks, because that's pretty much all I'm doing in this episode. At least I try not to make it, but come on, we gotta get the Koroks at some point. Hopefully we'll do more excitement in this episode. Hopefully, but we'll see. Alright, so we completed that shrine. Yay! Alright, now we can continue on with more Korok hunting. So, joy! Alrighty, so, uh, where is this Korok, perhaps? Uh, oh yeah, also, Revolta's deal is charged up, so thank goodness for that. Um, I see you down there. You're just a little pebble that I can pick up. Alright, pick that up. And yaha! Alright. I could go to Robbie and purchase the last gear, because I think I just have enough stuff. Well, I don't know if I have any ancient gears, but who knows? Um, yeah, I feel lazy. Let's just probably steal this. Alrighty. Uh, not quite. Alright. But there's a lot of things that we can do pretty much in the Gerudo region. So we got lots of side quests, because Gerudo Town is filled with a bunch of them. They're either simple, but they're filled with a bunch of things, so yeah. Not only that, I think Austrian I might have to play that Snowball mini game just to grind for some rupee because there's a jewelry shop in Gerudo Town and I kind of want to purchase all the stuff that's in there just to feel like I'm feeling accomplished, but whatever, that's just me. Alright, I'm still gonna wear my my cold protection because, yeah, it's starting to turn cold. Hello! Um, I don't like you. You're a blizzrobe, I don't need you, but... Oh, hello. Um, I could use fire arrows for this, so I think I will do just that. I don't really have a lot, but might as well kind of melt this a little bit. Alright, I have one more to do. There we go. And the rest of the thing, I would just melt in myself with my sword. Alright, come on. Melt. Kind of weird that it will melt in the water, but... Eh, it works. Also, I see a shrine in the distance, but... We're not gonna get that shrine right now, but we should because, because it's a shrine. <laughs> All right, and activate. And yaha! -ha. You're gonna drown, buddy, because you're in the puddle. All right, so we got that Korok. Awesome. All right, so there's a few Korok that we can get. There's also some over here. I kind of at least want to get this side out of the way because it's well out of the way. Um. We could avoid that lizard rope if we can, so I think I'm just going to avoid him and go on the other side. I know there's a bunch of dead guardians there, but... Oh, hello, rain. I don't want rain. Actually, is there a... Oh, shoot. Is that a live guardian? No, it's not. I could have sworn there was another guardian around here. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a guardian. For some reason, I feel like there should be. This area seems familiar. Too familiar. Uh... Okay, we're not quite there yet. I feel like this area should have a guardian. Just for some reason. You're very suspicious. I don't like it. Uh, just grab your stuff. I feel like there should be a guardian. This feels really, really familiar. Game, you better not spook me. Alrighty, um, I kind of want that swift flower. Because why not? I don't... Actually, I could probably climb it. I don't need to wait for Volley Scale for this. Okay, let's just recover a little bit of stamina. Let's keep switching from arid to ugh, cold temperatures. Come on, you can reach it, Link. There we go. Man, I'm starting to get hungry. Alright, um... Where is this Korok? Perhaps right up here. Um, there is a rock right over there. Good timing. Alrighty. Thankfully, I have snow boots on, so I don't worry too much about my speed. Alright, there we go. And yaha ha! Yaha! Alright, so we're almost done with this side, like at least this por portion right here, so I just kind of want to get that out of the way. Alright, and there should be one more up here. I think I know this one. Oh, hello! <laughs> Hello! I mean, I could use some of your tails, because I could probably use it for upgrading stuff. Aha! And you guys are annoying. I want to get rid of you. Oh, hello, you have a big sword. No, no big sword. Yeah, that's just a traveling thing more. Actually, do I even have a picture of that? 
No, I don't. Okay, that looks because that's how much more. That looked kind of new. Like I never seen that. No, I want to take a picture of this. There we go. Okay, that's new. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, what else? Oh, I destroyed an ice cube apparently. Alrighty. Um, there is actually. Are you? Oh, you're a guardian. You know what? I want to destroy you because. Yeah. Hi, buddy. There we go. Just want to activate you. Hiya, how's it going? I need your parts. Ah, perfect. Alright, this time I didn't need the rook. Apparently the first two times, you know, I was really bad at timing. Oh, no you don't. I need you. Alright, anyways, oh, it's right here. Okay. You're not alive once. Good. Alright, I need to use more fire arrows, which sucks because I don't want to use too much of my elemental arrows. Um, do you have anything on you? You don't have anything on you, do you? Well, that sucks. Hold on, let me switch my weapons to a fire flame blade. Alright, and melt this. Because I don't feel like waiting. I mean, for me, if I'm playing this myself, I can wait, but, you know, for you guys' sake, I don't feel like waiting. I wish, at least you guys don't feel like waiting. There we go. But that's just me, because I don't like to waste elemental weapons. Alrighty, got that one, and there should be one more that's around here, so I think I will try to get that one. Also, get some fire key swing, because who knows, I might need them, I don't want that sword. Alright, let's get you. I am feeling really hungry right now. But thankfully, I should be all good. Alrighty, so let's just go over here a little bit. And then we'll probably warp somewhere. We'll probably do, I guess, more exploration. Probably like a little bit of stuff. Well, actually, no. I already did a shrine this episode, but maybe we can try to get to the Great Fairy this episode. I mean, I don't have enough money. I don't, but at least kind of get the shrine there. Because there is, well, I don't know. It's going to be a long episode if I try to go after it. Yeah, actually, we'll just probably spend the rest of this time. Probably cork hunting. At least get some corks out of the way. Thank goodness for these boots because this will be a slow, slow trip to do so. And hello, this is a new weapon. Mother Spear. Man, we're getting some new weapons around here. Which is pretty good. I do need to clear my weapon or my album though because I probably have took too many pictures. Alright, like. <laughs> Alrighty, um, this all the way down here, which I believe I could probably get. Actually, funny enough, this is where the lineups are at. I don't have my light arrow, so I got rid of that. Well, I not got rid of it, but I, you know, obviously I put it away. And it's down here. Hello, coyotes! Yeah, go away. I could probably fight a lineup just to get more lineup parts. I mean, we're kind of in... We're kind of near a lino area, and if the blue one just passed, so I might just do that. Because I do need her stuff. I might just do that. Alright, let's get rid of this. I think there is a lino nearby. I might just fight a lino. Because I really do need her stuff, so... Might as well. Alright, uh, let's just put some gear on. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Let's fight a lino, because why not? I need to gather some stuff from them, if I can find a lino. If not, then we'll just warp somewhere else. The thing is, I don't even know where lino's at. Actually, right there, that's the spot. That should be it. Yep, I see it. What kind of lino are you? Since I did defeat, uh, did defeat, uh, she was it, uh, uh, my god, I can't think of the name. The, the Boris, a divine beast. Um. I think it's, uh, it's still a blue one, isn't it? Oh god. Oh, I think it might be a different level one. That looks like a silver one. Uh, oh, it changed to a white one now. Well, it's still a spear, so it's not too bad. Uh, and I do have a Brussels Spearie, but... Shockers at you, cause why not? 
a bunch of them. Can't believe he didn't notice me. All right, now you notice me. Now you notice. Just get a little bit of damage there. Yikes! Yikes! Oh shoot, that caused an explosion. Okay. Oh, he has a different weapon. That's why. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. Put, well, actually, probably use stasis for this. Alrighty. Yikes! Okay. Out. I didn't bring my shield out, but whatever. All right, come on. Come at me, bro. Ah! Okay, hold on. Wait. Powerful weapon. Uh, let's use, uh, let's use this. Just so I can get some good hits in there. Okay, uh, switch to fast weapon. All right, hold on. Gonna switch again. Switch yet again. Okay, you're gonna. Yep, I knew it. Aha! Take that, you. I'm gonna keep doing this. Get some good hits on you. Alright. Okay, you're gonna run around. Oh, jeez, I'm dodging a lot of this guy. I keep switching my weapons. I mean, that's pretty good, but dang. Alright. Okay, you're gonna do what now? Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Oh, I, I could have mounted him. I could have mounted him. Okay, run, 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 run. I could have mounted him. Okay, shoot arrows at you. All right. Uh, let's switch to different weapon. Yep. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do now? You gonna do this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No! No! There was an updraft, I could use that, but I'm not going to. Alright, come on. Okay, get my shield up, there we go. This is badly damaged, but that's okay. Uh... I have this sword. Actually, no, I have this. No, actually, no, let's use the short sword, since I have that. Okay, you're gonna do this again. Get away, get away. There we go. Uh, I could use the updraft there, but oh well. That's fine. I have plenty of shields. And eh, just keep doing it. You can probably keep doing that, but I don't care. Uh, let's. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We have plenty of shields, man. Sure, why not? Who's a girdle shield? Come on, buddy. Let me get your guts at least. Okay, that broke. Sheesh. Ew. Really, really do a lot of damage for that. Which sucks because, uh, yeah, let's just use this and maybe to switch to that. Okay, you're gonna do this. There we go. Alright, let's get a big weapon out and destroy him. Hopefully. <laughs> it's not gonna fully destroy him, but hey, we'll do a lot of damage. Okay. I know we haven't done much in this episode, but. Might as well finish it off. Hold on, wait. Okay. Eee! Keep switching my weapons here. I mean, it doesn't do much, but we'll try to do something. Alright, there we go. I did a lot of damage there. Okay, that broke one of my axes, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, no. Oh, jeez! Okay, that did a lot. Holy crap, that did a lot. Alrighty, that did a lot. And also the wolves are trying to go after me. How how dare you run on me over? Oh <laughs> Alrighty. Nope, I ain't gonna defeat you before you do this. Nope, nope, nope. Aha, gotcha. Yeah, take that, you. Alright, give me all your stuff. Alright, um, are these new stuff? I highly doubt it. Hmm. Not really. I do want that savage line elbow, though. Uh, I don't need the duplex bow, so I will get rid of that. Haha, -ha, yes. Alrighty, so, um, we completed that. I guess I might as well just warp. Uh, I might as well just warp over here, and it's, um, is that the shrine I'm thinking of? No, that's a different shrine. 
Actually, you know what? Let's go over here because I kind of want to start up with something. So, uh, I guess I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so we're back over here where the stable is at. So, I might just get a few Korok. Actually, um, we have that one. Uh, you know what? I probably might just might end the episode here because I don't think I have nothing else to do. I mean, I might, as, I might as well start up. Where am I? Where is the stable? Oh, pfft, down here. Uh, I might as well just start up the side quest that we can do. But before I do, I am gonna purchase a few of these Russians because why not? Because we could probably use some stamina, even though I'm not really lacking in stamina. Oh, no! Come on, get some Russians. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, we do have a side quest here, but we're gonna start that in the next episode. So, in the meantime, yeah, we'll talk to that guy. Actually, no, wait, hold on. Hmm, I do want to sell some stuff, though. I really do. have a bunch of ambers. Actually, I could probably just, yeah, you know what, let's just... Okay, you want my energetic rhino beetle, I don't want to sell you that, no thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sell some ambers, because I kind of need some money. Uh, no, I... I don't want to buy anything. I want to sell stuff. Uh, let's sell some amber because I got plenty of those. So, yeah. So, 30 uh, rupees each. Um, I'll sell maybe 30. See how much that is. That's 900. That actually should be enough for a great fairy. So, I can do that. You know, it's, now I'm going to end it off here. So, next time on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, we're going to do more side stuff around, you know, this region. And, yeah. By starting off this guy. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Scavenge saying bye!